Let me show you how to connect your Apple Watch to your iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max. So first, before you turn on your uh, watch, make sure uh, to go over in Bluetooth settings and make sure you have your Bluetooth enabled. And also uh, we are going to use two apps for this process, Apple Watch app and also Apple Health apps. So by default on your iPhone, they are already installed. So then simply let's turn on our watch. So I'm simply pressing on this watch, this side button here. And uh, basically once it actually turns on, if everything is okay, you should actually see like a pop-up uh, screen on your phone pop-up that uh, asks to pair both these together. Okay, so it maybe took like 20 seconds for this pop-up to show up. So you can either click continue over here or uh, we can literally go in the Apple Watch uh, app over here and click start pairing here as well. So it doesn't matter. Uh, so let's set up for myself, for example, in this case. And next, uh, your Apple Watch will actually create this kind of like very yeah, interesting graphics. And uh, basically that's a special code that it creates. And we are simply going to point our phone camera at this code on this Apple Watch. So you see, and it's essentially getting paired. So you can also set up restore from backup or set up as new. So if you had it previously set up, also let's choose our wrist wearing preference. So on which arm you want to wear it. And this process might take up to like a couple of minutes. Okay, let's agree to the types and conditions. And also we need to sign in on our Apple account, otherwise we won't be able to download apps and do various other things. So let's enter our password here. Okay, sign in. Uh, we don't have to agree to this. Also, you can create a passcode. So if you want passcode unlock, but I'm going to click this. Uh, obviously we can set up these things later in settings as well. Also your text size, even bold, or you see, you can basically customize it, whatever, whatever you need. Okay. And also you can change basically your height, for example, your weight. And also you see, you can also set up your sleep schedule here as well. So this obviously will help, help the watch understand when you are going to sleep and waking up uh, a bit better. Or again, we can skip and set later. Also uh, audio levels here as well. So if you are exposed to like very loud uh, audio for way too long. So, okay. Okay, and also this is the last step, essentially where your watch is finishing uh, some setup things. And this might take up to five minutes, depending on how old your Apple Watch is. On the new ones, it maybe takes like two or three minutes, but again, so simply leave it uh, like this and wait. Okay, all done. So we can click start over here. You can also take a tour or skip this. And when it comes to uh, changing settings, I actually suggest you do it uh, from the phone app as it's uh, way, way better. I see also how incredibly ugly the watch face is on this new iOS 26 on this watch. So we can change all the settings here. Or also you can send our like new watch face. So let's check out what new we have. So you see these new ones, absolutely dreadful here. Oh, I see, we can easily send over the new watch face on our watch. And I see it got applied. So to use your Apple Watch, uh, so I see if you press this button, you can launch basically all your applications. By the way, you need to wait a few moments before these apps actually get finished installing. I see they're actually still not ready. Also, for example, we can switch the view of the apps here if you Swipe down, you can get access to your notifications and also pull up these tiles if you swipe from the bottom. And if you press the side button, also your quick settings. But again, I suggest you simply leave your Apple Watch aside for maybe like 10 more minutes. So it actually finishes everything up, finish installing all the apps before actually touching it. Anyway, good luck.